we don't know uh, the nature of the clot before we started the thrombectomy. And uh, the clot becomes tough per definition after we failed with one, two or three passes with our conventional devices. So more and more, I tend not to repeat the same strategy four or five times as I used to be before. And now, at most, I repeat uh, one or two times the same strategy. And then it becomes obvious to me that the best is to change something. So not more than two times. What we did in the study is we only included those patients in which we failed with conventional devices after one or two passes. Those were considered tough clots and therefore they were included in the uh, Spiro study and we tested the Nimbus device. So with these tough clots in which, remember, we failed with conventional devices, with the Nimbus device we achieved a 68% rate of recanalization. When we did the first passes with the conventional devices, in 25% of the cases, we retrieved a fragment of clot. When we switched to the Nimbus, in 50% of the cases, at first pass, we retrieved clot fragments. And these clot fragments were completely different in terms of histology. There were much more fibrin-rich clots. So this kind of confirms that the mechanism of action of Nimbus is completely different and is specifically designed for these fibrin-rich clots. We hope someday, sooner than later, we have some devices or imaging that can guide us before we start the procedure about what is the nature of the clot. And then we will be able to select according to the patient characteristics or the, to the clot characteristics which kind of device to use. Until then, what we need to do is to use specific devices in the most common histologies, and if this fails, we go to the different uh, mechanisms of action as Nimbus for the tougher clots.